Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm Andy and I'm so excited you guys are here today because I'm going to show you something really, really cool in my opinion. It's probably not that cool, but I get excited really easily. So uh, today I'm going to show you guys my travel hair, skincare, and essential bathroom items kit. So this is my little go bag for whenever I'm about to leave town. Um, you guys may recognize it. It is in the same line from Caboodles as my Femme Fatale makeup case comes from. I picked this one up a couple months after I picked up, picked up that one because um, I wanted a matching duo that I could also bring on the cruise with me that I could fit the rest of my bathroom stuff in because originally that was supposed to fit it all. It does not even fit all the makeup I need. So I was like, I need something else. So I found this one. It's slightly smaller. It's a different shape and I found it works really, really well for the bathroom necessities. So this is what it looks like on the top. It's really just kind of like a square bag. The taco did not come with it. I got that at Target and I just could not resist a taco bag because if there's one thing in life that I love, it is a nice taco. So inside the little taco bag, I just got like makeup wipes and a little makeup remover. I'm just gonna unzip and show you guys um, what I have in here. So in theory, this should be a really simple bag that I just grab and go whenever I'm getting ready to go out of town. In actuality, it takes a lot of strategizing and planning and every time I go out of town for any extended period of time, I wind up reorganizing this bag and then I put more stuff in and I take more stuff out and I go through all my sample size stuff. So I actually spent an hour last night reconstructing this bag. So really it's not that time saving. It just is nice to have it somewhat pre-assembled. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys this today is because next week I'll be out of town. I'm going to Myrtle Beach with my family and then the week after that we come back I'm here for a week and then we leave for Disney. So I'm getting ready to travel a lot and I really wanted to like show you guys what I bring with me when I'm getting ready to go out of town that I know I will always have stuff on, on hand that I will need for my beauty routine and just to get ready in the day. So first thing, I just have a toothbrush that I keep in here. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Um, I have some Yes To makeup wipes because you guys know I love my Yes To makeup wipes. Um, that was like just a pack that I had that was almost empty so it fit really nicely in there and I left it in there because it was convenient. Got a little toothpaste. I have this Pure Paradise um, mini spritzer from Bath & Body Works so I don't smell bad. I have just a couple like little hair products. I always find that I bring excess hair products with me, ones that I don't necessarily use day to day because when I'm in the humidity, the beach is often really, really humid. Florida's definitely gonna be humid. So I wanna make sure I have extra things to kind of combat what my hair might do in case. Um, so I just have like this nice little um, detangler. I have a thickening spray, which I know with humidity, you're like, why would you bring that? But I don't know, I don't, I feel a need to have excess stuff just because I've got this like weird paranoia I'm gonna need something and not have it so I've got a couple different body washes because I don't know how many times I'm gonna shower so I don't want to run out of body wash I, I always pack excess because I mean for somebody who keeps backup stashes of literally all her makeup just in case like obviously I have some sort of weird OCD thing where I have to make sure that I'm not gonna run out of stuff so um I have I'm gonna just save those because I've got a lot of face cleansers I've got uh, Pureology Hydrate Sheer Shampoo and Conditioner Mini Set. Uh, pretty much everything that I'm showing you guys, I got in a free gift at some point and made it its way into this bag because it's just so convenient to have the nice little sample sizes. I try and grab ones um, that are a good size. These are huge, in my opinion, for a sample. This is the um, Hems Herbal Shampoo for Damage and Color Treated Hair and the conditioner that goes with it. I literally found those last night and I was like, why have I not had these in here before? Because this is like five or six trips worth of shampoo and conditioner in here. So I did bring the Pureology ones or I'm going to bring the Pureology ones as a backup just because like I said, I'm always paranoid about that, but I probably will not even come close to tapping into them. Um, I also have just like a couple little like of the packages of shampoos and stuff. These normally, based on the product that comes in them, I normally can get like two to three good washes out of them, maybe even more than that, just depending on the size of them. But I have one from Biolage, that's a color last one. Obviously my hair is color treated, so I'm always trying to make it last. Um, I've got one from Redken, which is an all soft shampoo and an all soft conditioner. That's actually, I put it in this bag because that's the full size one that I got in my last haul video for free and I wanted to try it out. And then I've just got um, some Hask Argan Oil uh, repairing shampoo and conditioner. So I have those just in case I like run out of all my shampoo because I shower six times a day. I don't know. We all know I don't even normally shower like twice a week. So why I'm worried about it, I don't know, but I am. Um, I've got 
These I probably will use because, you know, me and my dry shampoo, I love them. I've got a mini of the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe, which I showed you guys when I did my update video about my hair. I actually did purchase these at Christmas time because they came in like this cute little like mini trio set and they were more expensive than one full size bottle. But I was like, I'm going on a cruise. I need it in mini form because it looks like a baby. So I picked up some of those and I haven't even blown through half of the first bottle. So I've still got two others. Um, and then I've got this Hask Argan Oil Dry Shampoo, which we also picked up before I went on the cruise. I did buy this one as well. Came in like a nice little mini Hask set that came with a shampoo and a conditioner. And we were in Florida about to get on the cruise and I looked at Nikki like, oh my God, what if I run out of shampoo? And of course I did not, but he's very supportive. So he's like, we'll get you this like cute little mini Hask set. So, um, I also, I always have like perfume minis that I get from gifts or that I find in my room. I don't know. I, they, I don't know where half this stuff comes from. I'm assuming Ulta, my best guess. Um, but I've got like all these little, all the perfume minis, uh, because I'm really paranoid about smelling bad. This one's actually from Bath and Body Works from like, nah, if you can tell from the bottle and the design on it, that's from like a good 10 years ago. That's essential amber. Um, and then I've just got like a couple different ones, Daisy from Marc Jacobs product, Handy, Viva La Juicy, uh, just a good variety of fragrances. I don't even know what this is. I have three of these that I assume I got in different for gifts throughout the year last year. They're foaming shower gel sensations. I don't know what that word sensation means. So I was like, hmm. but it's from a brand called Rituals. Uh, so I decided to throw this in here as a nice good size. I figured no matter what, it would be like a good thing to use as shaving cream. So I popped him in there. Then I've got, I've got some pore strips from Bure. You guys know I love my skincare stuff. And when I'm on vacation, I try and do a lot more of it than I normally do. I have some band-aids and I have some like little of the mini packages of makeup wipes from hotels and stuff that you get. I've got a bunch of bobby pins and hair ties back here, just in case. I have two different types of, actually, I'll just pull it out. I got the trio from Big Sexy Hair. I've got the play powder, which is like a drying powder. It's honestly kind of like a, it's like a volumizing powder or a dry shampoo even, but you just kind of like shake it like a baby powder into your scalp and then you massage it in. And this stuff really works. So I always keep them on hand because I find like, for whatever reason, when my hair gets humid or is in humidity, it tends to absorb oils. And so it find, it winds up getting like greasier, but also bigger. So I, I feel like that is a good job of like drying it out and keeping it from looking greasy. So I always have that in there. And then I've got the Full Bloom. This is like the little like pump spray hairspray. And then I've got the um, aerosol spray and play from them. So just a variety of different hairsprays and things like that. Because like I said, I never know what my hair is going to do. Uh, I have this Jurgens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. I don't use moisturizers normally. I don't use body lotions. I don't like the way they feel. I'm lazy and I don't put them on. But for whatever reason, I feel like when I'm on vacation, I'm going to be more likely to do that it's probably not going to happen but i put it in there anyway so then we'll break into the skincare stuff there's a lot of it so bear with me well actually first i'll show you guys i have this little matrix biolage bodying styling jelly that i found i used to have like a full-size hair gel in there and it took up a lot of room and then i found that guy and i was like perfect oh the little mario badascu set that i got the free gifts i put most of their products in there the facial sprays in my makeup kit because that's something I normally put on before I put on my primer. So I went ahead and threw it in that kit rather than this one. But I've got a the enzyme cleansing gel. I've got his cucumber cleansing lotion, which is more like an astringent from what I read about it. I've got the hydro moisturizer with vitamin C, which is like a face uh, moisturizer. Um, yeah, this is from Philosophy. It would help if their name was on the package, but it wasn't. And that just threw me all off. Um, I've got like a little hand sanitizer that's almost empty to be honest. And then I've got like a little Ulta foaming facial cleanser. I have an It Cosmetics uh, facial cleanser. I'm really worried about running out of face cleansers for some reason. I don't know why. You guys know I don't even wash my face every day most of the time, but when I'm on vacation, I'm like, I have to make sure I have seven of them because what if I run out? Um, and then these are my creams and stuff that I bring because, you know, after I do my skincare regimens, I really like to have a nice soothing mask to go on over it, mask, uh, moisturizer to go on over it. So I've got the Confidence in a Cream and the It Bye Bye Redness. Both of those are in sample sizes, so they're really convenient for this. 
And then last but not least, I just have a little Nia Fully Charged Serum and Moisturizer. It is um, meant to hydrate your skin. It gives it this really beautiful glow. And then I've got a number seven Restore and Renew Face and Neck Multi-Action Serum. And I've got this Healthy Skin Eye Cream from Neutrogena. So I know that was a lot that I threw at you guys. Uh, Nikki always yells at me about talking too fast. I feel like I talked really fast in that one just because I was trying to give you guys a good look without going too deep into detail. But I would really love to hear from you guys. But I really just want to get to know you guys a little bit more. You've been so supportive so far and I've been really thankful for that. So if you have any questions about the products, if you have any recommendations for me, if you want me to give you guys recommendations, I would really love to hear from you guys. So please comment, um, ask questions about the products. If I talk too fast, be like, yo, you talked so fast. I have no idea what you said when you did the face mask thing. I'll tell you everything that I have in this bag. I just would really love to hear from you guys and really get to start engaging with you guys and um, getting to know our little YouTube family a little bit better. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you liked the video. If you did and you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us. Um, and then I would also uh, really encourage you guys to check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our page and hit the notification bell. So that way you see every time I talk way too much about skincare, beauty, and all things in between. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you all. As always, stay girly, but with a dark twist.